As we well know, the deep plane is really comprised of just two components. It's the movement or motion of the golf club and the direction that the face is pointing at impact. That creates the deep plane. So what we're going to do first is this red stick is going to represent the motion of the club's center of gravity, or I might refer to sometimes as sweet spot. So as that club is moving towards the target, this red line represents that. So that, that motion or that path can be left of the hole, right of the hole. We can hit up on it or hit down on it. So really, the motion of the club head uh, also includes angle of attack and horizontal differences. So that forms half the D-plane. The second half is what we call normal to the club face. Normal to the club face is perpendicular in all directions to the club face. So it's the way the direction that the face is pointing at impact. Now, they say that two lines can create a plane. So if we have the direction of the path and the direction of the face, that creates a plane between these two. And that's what we call the D-plane. And there's our D-plane, this way. And the D-plane contains the initial flight of the golf ball, the lift of the ball is in that plane, and gravity will pull it down. And that plane can be vertical to the ground, and that'll produce a ball without spin or side spin. And then it tilted to the right will produce a slice or fade, and tilted to the left will produce a draw or a hook. Now, when we introduce the golf ball itself, the golf ball will only spin along one axis. That spin axis is always perpendicular to where the D-plane is. So if the D-plane is vertical, the, sp the spin axis will be horizontal to the ground. And if that D-plane is tilted, the, the spin axis is tilted correspondingly to where it is perpendicular to the D-plane itself. So again, the ball will start on the D-plane, rise up that D-plane due to spin, and gravity will pull it right back down to the D-plane if it's a vertical D-plane. However, on crooked shots, it will be tilted, the ball will rise on the D-plane, start on the D-plane, rise on the D-plane, and gravity will pull it off the D-plane. So that's how crooked shots are hitting golf, and obviously, sometimes we want to hit them crooked on purpose. But the other thing to kind of consider is what we call spin loft. We hear a lot about spin with launch monitors and so forth. And the thing we have to understand that the spin loft is the difference between the angle of attack and the face direction. And then it's also due to the speed of the club. But any given speed, once we determine the, this difference here, that determines how much spin the golf ball is going to have. So the greater that is, the more spin, the less it is, less spin. If these two were facing in the same direction, the ball would have no spin at all. Now, we talk a lot about angle of attack with launch monitors. Let's take an example here. We hear that, hey, if we hit down on the ball, we'll spin it more. Well, if the angle of attack is, let's say, level, this is a driver instead of an iron, and the spin loft, let's say, is 10 degrees. If we hit down on it 5 degrees, but the club face changes the same corresponding five degrees, we did not change the spin loft, therefore we would not change the spin. So by just changing the angle of attack doesn't necessarily increase the spin. However, if we had the angle of attack change and the face stay the same, we would increase this spin loft, the difference here, and the ball would spin more. So that's the case there. The last thing to keep into account is the lie of the club. So let's say we have a perfectly fitted club with a vertical D-plane and straight ball flight, and we had a club that was misfit. That tilts our D-plane, which would cause the ball to go right, and this would cause it to go left. However, that can be reconciled by just fixing the club face. Now we have a vertical D-plane and straight ball flight with a club that doesn't fit us. It's not the best thing to do or the best case scenario, but it's how people can hit misfit golf clubs sometimes and still come out with a straight shot.